Look, the Quran taught us really beautiful du'as. Ahlul Bayt also taught us really beautiful du'as. Really beautiful statements of how to talk to God. Honestly, it's a school of eloquence. Yeah, the Quran and the du'as. So if you look at the du'as that we have, du'a kumail, du'a makarim al-akhlaq, all these. If you want inspiration, go and see what they said. Go and read. If you don't understand Arabic, read the English translation. It's still beautiful. It is still beautiful. Read the translation in your language. Yeah. Well, of course, it doesn't have to be like that. You know, the, as I, I usually say that, the beautiful thing, the, one of the really beautiful things about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you can talk to Him any way, any time, in any language, in any way you want. No formalities. No formalities. You don't have to, you know, file an application and, <laughs> and wait to be allowed in and I don't check in. And there's no, none of that. There's none of that. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is closer to you than your jugular vein, isn't it? And of course, He understands your language. But sometimes some people like to be inspired, like to, you know, like to experience what Ahlul Bayt experienced. Yeah, and this is what, you know, this is what we feel really when we read their du'as. We try to experience that, you know, ecstasy they had with Allah. We try to experience it. This is where, you know, their, their words are really beautiful, really, really beautiful.